千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. Once upon a time, in ancient China, there were two kingdoms who were not very powerful, and yet they were contending with one another. So, behind them, you know, observing them, there is a much more powerful kingdom, Qin, which would eventually give rise to Qin Shi Huang. The tyrant that I spoke of. At this time, the king of Zhao was planning to attack Yan, the other kingdom, to address some ancient wrongdoing that he perceived, some ancient wrong. So he was discussing strategy. He was looking to organize his army to go on the attack. But there was a minister that came to him to say, "Your Majesty,、uh, this perhaps is a course of action that you need to need to reconsider." Now he saw that the king of Zhao was intent upon aggression, so he realized the minister realized that he needed to come up with a different way to make the king understand. The destructive path that he was on. So he said, "Your Majesty,、uh, let's not talk about strategy and preparation for war right now. Let me let me start out. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a clam that hadn't been to shore for a long time. So one day he saw that the sun was out." And he knew that the shore would be warm and comfortable, so he worked his way to shore. The clam, and he opened up. The clam opened up to enjoy the sun, to to sun itself. Now, when a snipe, a bird, a bird with a with a long beak, when a snipe saw this, the snipe came by. And then landed next to the clam, and then quickly used the long bill that it had, the long beak, to thrust into the clam. Now, the clam was cautious and saw him coming, so he was shocked, but he reacted in time. So very quickly, he closed up, he clammed up, literally, and this caught the beak of the snipe. Within it, so now they had a standoff. They had a situation where they were in contention in mortal combat with one another, and either one, neither one was willing to give up. So, so the snipe, the bird, said to the clam, "Well, your time is not on your side, my friend." I don't think you can stay on shore for too long. So think about it. If it doesn't rain today, there's not going to be any water for you. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, you're going to die from being too dry. So when that happens, on shore there's going to be a dead clam, and the clam is uh, is uh, countering that by saying that. Huh. Well, that's what you think. I have a different idea. I think that you won't be able to last too long with this hunger that you are experiencing. If I don't open up the clam, if I don't open up for you, if I don't open up today or tomorrow, you're gonna die from hunger. So tomorrow comes around, there's gonna be a dead snipe. On the shore, 
So they go back and forth like this. Neither one of them was willing to back off. They wanted to, uh, you know, if, if they were to die, they wanted to take the other party, you know, with them. So at that moment, there's a fisherman who came by who saw the contention in progress. He's very happy, as you can see in this picture. So he very easily picked up both. He caught both the snipe and the clam. The snipe could not fly away because the beak was caught and the clam wasn't willing to let go. So it wasn't able to escape into the water. So happily, the fisherman came away with both snipe and clam and was planning a feast that night for dinner that night. So when this particular sage finished telling about the story, the king of Zhao woke up to the reality and he said, Master, thank you for teaching me that story. If we two small kingdoms battle among ourselves, then the fishermen represented by the powerful Qin kingdom will simply stroll by and capture both of us. Then there would be no difference between our two kingdoms because we will both be dead. So because of that, this particular king decided against the attack that he had planned all this time. So that is the story of the snipe and the clam. It identifies in parable fashion why contention is such a bad idea. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Let us travel safely. Until next time, may the Tao fill you with peace and happiness.